Hello and welcome to At The Movies Season 4 Episode 1. A uh, quick kind of introduction, if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with the series, this series is completely bare bones, one take videos, no intros, no outros, just talking about a movie that I've seen in the cinema. Um, it's usually me and Connie, my fiance, but uh, she didn't see this one. This is the only one in the whole series that uh, she doesn't join me on. We filmed them all now. It took us a while to catch up with it, but uh, we did, and now uh, we're going to crack straight on with it because there's season five to come with all the movies that are coming out now, so there's going to be a lot of these over the next uh, week or so. This one is Place Beyond the Pines, The Place Beyond the Pines, rather, directed by Derek C. in France, who did uh, Blue Valentine, which I enjoyed a lot. Well, I didn't enjoy it, but I thought it was a really good film. Definitely not an enjoyable film. Uh, this one's slightly different, um, and I remember when the trailers for this came out and everyone was like, oh, it looks like Drive, but on, you know, on motorbikes, uh, because Ryan Gosling is uh, one of the stars of this movie. Um, and he's got his hair dyed blonde, and he rides a motorcycle, he's got tattoos, and his character is basically um, a carny. You know, he goes around with the, with the carnival and, uh, you know, just does this um, this stunt on his motorbike where it's him and I think two other um, motorcyclists in a, a big steel ball, and uh, they kind of race around, you know, like the, the ball of death or something like that. And the movie opens with this fantastic shot of him walking through the whole um, fairground, to get to his tent where he's doing his stunt and it's a great shot and really sets the tone for how special this movie is I think. I saw it in the cinema and I was I was blown away by it. I had a choice of seeing this or Iron Man 3. I went for this and I didn't regret the decision. Uh, it was uh, it was just different and you could really spoil this movie um, by really going into some of the more some of the other details of the film. Uh, and I think I will but um, I'll kind of sum this up before I go into that and I will say that it is um, a brilliant movie that also starts, stars Bradley Cooper, who's on a real good, good role as, as of late. I mean, it, I really wouldn't have believed if someone had told me a few years ago that he was going to be like a, a big serious actor um, in the future because he was doing things like The Hangover. I saw him in um, I'm Just Not That Into You, I think it was called. And, you know, he just seemed like a you know standard rom com kind of actor, but he's really upped his game, particularly with Silver Linings Playbook and, um, and this film as well. I think he's fantastic in this movie. And it also stars Dane DeHaan, who I'm a big fan of. He was in Chronicle, Lawless, um, the Metallica movie. He's in the new Spider-Man movie. And he's in this also in a prominent role. And uh, Eva Mendes also stars. Ray Liotta also stars in a kind of a lesser role, but kind of pivotal to the plot. And the movie, you know, it's about crime, you know. And, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the theme of the movie is what you do and how it affects the generations that come after you and the, the ripple effect, the similarities between a father and son, uh, the disconnect between a father and a son and and, uh, and just all the things that go along with that. It's a, it's a great drama movie. There's a, a great kind of crime element to it as well. But for me it's, it's pure, it's the, 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 main, the main strength of this movie is in the human drama which is portrayed fantastically on screen by the actors and um, uh, portrayed by the director as well. I would say definitely go check out this film. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 for sure, one of my favourites of the year. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see it pop up on my top 10 list, at least my top 20 list of 2013. Um, and now I'll get into the spoilers. So, Ryan Gosling is just, he's magnetic as the, as Luke in the film. And people have can criticise Ryan Gosling and say, oh, he's always doing the silent act, you know, drive, he hardly speaks. This movie, he hardly speaks. It's a... Uh, but, but I like that, he does it well, it's a real kind of, there's a real charisma that oozes out of Ryan Gosling. I will say though that in Only God Forgives, uh, Nicholas Wine in reference his latest film, his, uh, his next film, his latest film since Drive, I thought that film was just really not up to scratch. It, it, they took Ryan Gosling's silent kind of gimmick and just put it, into over, put it into overdrive basically and it just didn't work for me. There were some good parts to that film but overall I just felt like it failed and it could have been so much more. Uh, but it worked in this movie, it worked in The Place Beyond the Pines. Um, and I loved Ryan Gosling in it and his relationship with Eva Mendes. And then basically he dies a third into the movie and I was really gutted by that because he was so, it was such an interesting character and I was really invested in what he was doing. And then he died. And that's the moment when we get introduced to Bradley Cooper's character, who's the guy who shoots him and he's a, he's a cop. And basically Ryan Gosling's character, he does one robbery too many and gets caught and uh, you know Bradley Cooper's got to deal with this situation where you know Luke was sitting in the in a window with a gun but he wasn't pointing it at Bradley Cooper but Bradley Cooper shot him anyway I almost have a panic and and he's being asked by the police you know did he pull his weapon on you you know 
were you acting out of self-defense? And this whole, it, it kind of unravels Bradley Cooper's life and Ray Liotta gets involved and uh, Eva Mendes' character gets involved again and it just, it, it takes a whole other turn and there's a whole other different side of the story. And then the third act starts and we're now uh, 14, 15, 16 eight years later, something like that, because Eva Mendes had a, a child and that was the main the main drive of the story. I guess I didn't say that, but um, you know, Luke is hooked up with Eva Mendes the year before, you know, when we start the movie, and she tells him that she just had a kid, and that's why he wants to stay around, that's why he wants to rob banks to get money to support his his kid, you know, but Eva Mendes is with someone now, so there's uh, you know, there's trouble there, romantic uh, tension, I guess. Um, and now this boy is now grown up in the third act of the film. My only criticism is Bradley Cooper looks exactly like he did in the second act of the film. He didn't look like he'd aged, you know, like 15, 16 years. Um, but he's now become very um, uh, successful. And uh, he struggles with, um, you know, what happened, I guess you could say. And Dane DeHaan plays Ryan Gosling's son in the movie. And he's trying to really find out who his real father was and uh, he kind of finds out some of the things that went on and he finds out that Bradley Cooper was involved in that and that's how it all... The film leads to its climax and, Br and Bradley Cooper has a son the same age as Ryan Gosling's son, played by Dane DeHaan, I guess I think I said that already. Uh, yes, I definitely did at least twice. And so Bradley Cooper's son becomes friends with him in school and so it all gets linked together, it all comes back around, it all comes full circle. It's a very cyclical theme to it again. For me, the only thing I didn't like about the film, uh, apart from the fact that I still think that Ryan Gosling was such a great character, it was a shame that he got killed off, but that's what made the movie unique and different. But the ending was just kind of a bit, it just kind of petered out and ended, you know. Um, there was a really tense scene that was building up in the, in the woods and it was good, but I felt like they could have put it, pushed it even further. And then there was this one shot of Dane DeHaan riding his bike, his bicycle down this road, and it was the same shot almost of Ryan Gosling earlier on in the film riding down this road on his motorbike. And there was a similarity between the two, and showed that even though they had no physical connection, well, no connection whatsoever, there was still something that kind of linked them. And uh, the same music was played, and I thought it was a brilliant shot. And I think that shot should have been saved for the end of the movie. I think if they just cut to black there, it would be a brilliant ending. But the ending, you know, he goes and buys a motorbike. Oh, he's going to go off and do what his dad did. And then he kind of, this is this long shot of him just driving off. And, you know, and then we just see him disappear out of shot and then just fades to black. And, I, you know, I'm not saying it was bad, but it just kind of petered out instead of just ending on a, for me, I, I prefer films that end on a, on a strong note and, um, I guess it was strong, but it wasn't as impactful as, I don't know. I just didn't love the ending that much. That's why I give it a 9 out of 10. But overall, Place Beyond the Pines, fantastic film. Can't wait to watch it again. Uh, stay tuned for seven more episodes in this season. If you saw the promo video, which no one did, but um, I put out a promo video with pictures from the films that will be featured in this in this season. Going to be talking about Before Midnight, This is the End, The World's End, The Wolverine, um, Elysium, Kick-Ass 2. And a couple of other movies, so a lot to talk about in terms of films that come out this year. And then season five will pick up with kind of uh, autumn, winter of this year, um, which will lead into movies like uh, Thor 2, Ender's Game, Gravity, Catching Fire. So look forward to that. Um, I hope you like these reviews and uh, let me know what you thought of Place Beyond the Pines if you've seen it and leave a comment down below. Uh, the rest of the series will be with Connie, so I hope you enjoy that too. We kind of have a bit more fun with it than we usually do, um, so it might annoy people because we're, we're really kind of just um, goofing around some of the times. So I don't know, but um, either way, hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. See you next time.